here welcome to another video today i want to show you something uh, a little different that probably you don't get to practice a lot but i think it's really important and it's another variation of the slice okay there is a player that uh, uses this shot a lot dominic team you've probably seen um, him doing this a lot and i'm going to show you a couple of pieces of him doing it so you get a better understanding of what i'm talking about uh, let's go a little back in time when i show you the slice where you get the ball okay from under the typical slice okay more feather style then i think uh, two weeks ago we had the side spin okay slice aggressive getting the ball to get out of the court this time we're going to talk about the slice that you're going to get really aggressive from your shoulder or above to hit a ball that is going to go down and what you're looking for here it's a ball that is almost not going to bounce it's just going to slip into the court and going uh and take you know your player has he will have to run back because it's gonna be really hard to, to get that ball. All if he, I mean, if he's better, he probably gets it uh, after the bounce, but I don't think you're gonna play against Roger so many times. So when we talk about this shot, okay, this lies, and think about this, it's lies everybody tells you all the time, and I, I've been telling you all the time that this lies is a shot that you have to feel, that you don't have to actually hit the ball. You need to play more with your hand and the feeling of how you hit the ball and how you take it and you go through the shot and then you, get the racket floating up there this one is different because this one you you actually will have to hit the ball and this this shot is amazing i mean i use it all the time one-handed backhand so sometimes it's hard to hit it one-handed from up there so i use this a lot better use this a lot okay so i'm gonna show you a little piece of uh, maybe dominic team and fair doing this and then i'm gonna show you a couple of tips of what you need to do to make it really effective and then you're gonna see my ball actually hitting and going to the other side so you can see the bounce that is what you're looking for here again. If the ball in clay court is not gonna bounce, imagine if you're playing in hard court, if you're playing in grass, indoor, the ball is gonna be amazing. I tell you because I, I, I use this ball a lot when I used to play uh, hard court or indoors. So let's take a look at the, at the pros doing this shot and then I'm gonna show you, okay, what you need to do to make it, uh, to make it really good. All right, so let's talk now a little more about what you need to do, okay? The, the little things that you need to know to make it different. So first of all, as every slice that we talk about, a little different on the side spin when you, you let the ball, remember I told you, you let the ball coming a little in, so then you can pull it to outside. But when we talk about the slice, okay, lower slice, we talk about hitting the ball in front and then keeping, here's the same thing that you're doing, okay? Same thing, you will need to get the ball in front you can't get the ball uh, behind the line of your shoulder, okay? Imagine you're standing like this, you're gonna hit a cross court, you can get the ball over your shoulder. You can't hit behind the line of your shoulder because the ball is gonna, I mean, you're not gonna be able to hit it actually hard there and you probably hit it behind. You're gonna make the ball go a little outside because the rotation that you're gonna need to do is gonna be a lot more. So what you need here is actually hitting really in front, okay, here, the line of your shoulder or a little in front and then you will need to understand this. Get from under the ball, but not really going low because you, if not, you're not gonna have the plank here with the, with the arms to really push the ball and get it uh, to slide there in the back. So what you need to do is actually get your shoulder a little under the ball. So if you get the ball here and you wanna hit the shot, you will get a little under, okay? And see here how I, how I break, I put all my body into the, to the front leg so I get the shoulder under the ball and then here to then keep going. But there is a little difference here. If you hit the ball and you keep going, like you do in the slice, the ball is not gonna slide, okay, and have a really low bounce, which is gonna happen. The ball is gonna kind of float a little more. So what you need here is to be really aggressive, hitting from high to low, okay, from high to low, keep going, okay, and then stop the ball a little okay stop the racket after you hit it stop it here so the ball actually gets like a like a like a cut okay just like if you were trying to um to shape the ball so it's gonna be really tricky when it hits in the other side don't worry i'm gonna show you a couple of, of balls doing it you're gonna see the bounce you're gonna see from behind you're gonna see from the front everything but let's let's recap a little so number one try to get your shoulder from under the level of the ball number two you're gonna get the ball 
from the line of your shoulder or in front, okay, here or here, not here, okay, this would be good, ideal would be in the front. And number three, you don't want to get the racket in the line of your shoulder like you do more in a slice. You want to get the racket from high to low so the ball really gets a, a really sh good shape and then the ball is gonna go and slip in their side. So let's take a look at a couple of shots hitting it. you could see there a couple of shots you, you've seen it from different angles you've seen from behind from in front okay really close camera you see the bounce of the ball everything I think you really understand how important and how good is this shot you really get a good execution you really have good control of this you will have a risk of what when you hit it if you hit the ball too much or you don't get it in the right line you're gonna get the ball in the net if you keep going too much with the racket the ball is gonna float long so this has to be a perfect timing getting the ball in front, the height where you get the ball, and a little of the sensation, okay? Again, the feeling, it lies always something about talking about feeling, the feeling you have in the shot, okay, to make it. When can you hit it? All right, if you're a one-handed backhand, probably all the balls that you have from the shoulder and above, a little shorter, okay, inside of the court that you wanna go to a net, this is the best approach you can get. Probably better than just hitting the ball where the other, uh, where your opponent can maybe get there and just block, okay, if it's lefty with the forehand and get a passing. So this ball, what you're looking for is really being aggressive and getting a really, really low ball. So even if he gets there and he has to lift it, the ball will have to go up. So your chances to get it at the net are really high. Again, if you're also two-handed, ball up here, yeah, you can maybe get aggressive, but you can also get this ball, okay, really, there getting the ball and trying to be aggressive to go to a net and have an easier ball because that's what you want going to a net with an easier ball all right so remember guys if you like this video please thumbs up leave the comment below i try to help you with everything subscribe to your channel if you didn't share with your friends if you like it all right have a great week thank you